very big day for us today. We are off to the Stonehenge. We're on the bus and it's the anticipation of it all. I mean, Renata thinks, yeah, what do you think it is, Renata? A circle of rocks. Okay, so that, that's Renata. underwhelming when you get there. Been there, done that. Um, excuse me. It is slightly okay. underwhelming when you get there. You're not allowed to touch the bloody things. See, I've touched them, so it's all good. But, you know, it is what it is. It's part of everyone's right of passage. it to Barb? Hello. How, you, how are you feeling? Are you ready? Yes. To are be you, underwhelmed, You're excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to get back to Glastonbury and do the shopping. <laughs> and to look at the gift shop when we finish. Oh. Do you know what? what? No matter how many thousands of times people have taken photos of Stonehenge, I'm still excited to take my own. That's right. So, you know, nothing's going to dampen my Even, right even now. the cranky old cow. Yeah, even, even the so. <laughs> And I'm excited to be here because I haven't been here for probably 30 years. So, um, And last time I was here, I actually did get to go and lay my hands on the rocks, on the altar, and it was fabulous. But uh, that one over there didn't, so she's just jealous. But uh, we'll take you in with us and show you very shortly. There it is. Wow. So it's cost us £25 to go in, it's about $50 Australian, but they've got a lot of uh, exhibits and things, but most importantly, they have a coffee shop and a gift shop. Woohoo! So Barb, yes. what do you think of the pile of rocks? Um, I want to come live here. Uh, and Renata's <laughs> suggestion that it's just a pile of rocks? It is, but it's still special because you see it on TV and you think, oh yeah, but it's, you can say I've been here, I'm here, and there's just a different feel about it. You can, the curiosity of what it was and why they've done it, and yeah, there's a lot of mystery to it, which is intriguing in itself. And what about photographing here? Oh, hashtag no filter needed. <laughs> the grass is as green as your eyeballs can take it and the sky is as crisp and as blue as you can ever imagine without anything. It's just it's amazing. It's like just words standing. just don't even begin to describe them. the dogs frolicking in the fields and it's absolutely glorious. <sighs> and now you want to move here. Yep. Live here. <laughs> Bring my dogs and let's come and move here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Lisa, your first time at the Stonehenge, how are you feeling? I'm just 
just wishing we weren't so far away from the stones right now. I know. I had a moment before my own as well. And there's like one bird that's been, I swear, that's been sitting up there the entire time. And I was trying to get a photo of them flying through. And do you feel any sort of energy or anything like that from them? Um, it's okay sure. to say no. I'm not sure. I think we're just so in awe of where we are and what we're it's doing. A very, it's a very tranquil spot. How is it for photography? And, oh my god, these clouds. <laughs> Stunning. I would love to be here during a, a sunrise or a sunset. And snow. Yeah. You imagine oh, the too. snow. Oh. oh, all right. Thank you so much. So, Renata, yes. you've come back to the Stonehenge yes. after all these years. Yes. How are you feeling about it? Very good. Love it. Love it here. You're looking like you're a tad cold. It's a little bit cold, but that's because I haven't been moving around. So, I've just been sitting and just looking at the, the sight, just on my own in silence. So, it's been good. And you said you were talking to the rocks. I was. What were you saying to the rocks? Uh, that's between me and the rocks. I'm not telling everyone. I'm sorry. No. Fuck her off. <laughs> and I want to know the most important thing. Did the rocks answer back? No. So they're not talking to you because you won't share. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And of course, my final thoughts. It is such an honour and a privilege to be here and to visit this site and know that somebody has bothered to keep the history and protect the site because uh, there's a lot of tourists here and I know that some people will do things like chip off a little bit of the stone and take it with them and you imagine if everyone did that. Everyone took a little bit of the stone hedge with them so I'm sad I can't go up and touch it. Uh, I did get to uh, when Roman and I came here many decades ago but uh, I'm glad it's been protected and it's nice to know the money that we've paid to come here today is you know, keeping this site here for future generations and the history and the knowledge and hopefully we'll all get to get, come again someday and visit the Stonehenge. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.